I think the number one question everybody asks me, and I am pretty sure that other travelers have the same experience, is how much money did you spend on your travel? What did the traveling cost you? Well, it's very sad to say that I cannot give you a hard number on that one because it's not that easy to say. It really depends on what type of person you are, which type of traveler you are, or better say, which type of traveler do you want to be, which experience do you want to have, which season you travel, if you travel low season or high seasons is a big difference, which continents you travel, and even in the continents is which countries you travel, there is a big difference in uh, standards and prices. But to drop some numbers, I think it's very fair to say that it is somewhere between low range $10,000 a year up to $30,000 a year. If I look at myself, I traveled in a year and I spent like $20,000 a year. I traveled actually two whole years and both the years separate from each other, I spent around uh, $20,000 a year, including transportation, beds, food and activities. Look at it from a day, like a cheap day will cost you $20, $25 maybe, and a more expensive day will cost you $150. The highest cost you have are probably your transportation costs. If I look at my own experience, the most expensive for me was renting a car. I rented a car in America for 24 days. And because I'm a solo traveler, I had to pay, of course, for the rental car myself and the gasoline. So that added up a lot. I think in 24 days, I spent almost $1,500 only on a car rental. And I still had to pay for uh, motels and food, etc. And because I traveled around uh, a lot of national parks, the motel prices around the national parks are also higher. My cheapest transportation was probably paying 50 cents for riding uh, with a chicken box, which was actually a very fun, colorful experience. I love colors, so I really, really loved uh, riding a chicken bus. It's actually not that comfortable, but it was a very nice experience. My cheapest bed was say, uh, $7 a night in a four bed dorm, including uh, breakfast, which was very comfortable in Laos. It was a very new hostel. So all the beds and the bathroom, etc., were all very new. So it was very okay. The most expensive uh, beds I paid for were probably in Switzerland and in America. That all, all the motels, etc., they cost around $100 a night. The cheapest food I got is probably somewhere in Asia or Guatemala. Especially if you do street food, it costs you like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Actually, surprisingly, if you buy a cola or a beer, etc., uh, the price you pay on your drink is like the same price you pay on your food. So if you have a Coke for a dollar, you have food for a dollar, you still pay two dollars. And it's very tasty. The most expensive food I had along the way which will be surprisingly was in Zimbabwe because I was on a safari and we all went to a very nice buffet. They also had African food on it. And really, I thought the uh, waiter was uh, making fun of me, making a joke with me because I had to pay, I think I had to pay, including a drink like 30 or 35 US dollars for a buffet in Zimbabwe. Okay, it was, next to the Victoria Falls, but then again, we're still in Africa. So there was an insane, ex insane expensive food, but hey, that was really an exception. The cheapest activity is of course, enjoy nature, go walking, go on a hike, enjoy sunsets or sunrises, buy somewhere a drink and a snack and sit down on a beach or on a bench in a park and enjoy it. My most expensive activity was probably the day I went to Mont Blanc. I took a day trip from Geneva and I had it arranged that I had a whole day trip with a group 
actually it was in individuals in a group but uh, it doesn't matter they actually picked me up from home brought me all the way to Chamonix so I didn't have to switch trains they already arranged the cable car uh, tickets so you didn't have to stand in line for the tickets and you had the speed line to go up and it also included a ride with a train and I think I had a bottle of water or something but that was actually on a very day I think I spent 120 or 130 U uh, euros on that one that was ridiculously uh, expensive but I did it on my uh, birthday so it was a special treat to myself to do something crazy and expensive that in a normal average day on travel I would probably never ever have done that but because it's a treat and a present to yourself you enjoy it so much more and hey it still gives a good story 20,000 a year for traveling is a very doable and realistic number I'm a solo traveler traveling alone is a little bit more expensive and I'm like not the cheapest traveler I would say I'm a sort of budget middle traveler so I mix expensive countries with non-expensive countries and also a lot of times I slept in dorms and sometimes I treated myself with a private room also because dorms were not available and when I have an expensive activity day I really try to not spend any money on activities for one or two days in a row that on average is still okay but the best thing is, keep in mind that while you're not traveling, you stay at home, you spend money too. Thanks for watching. I want to share my travel experience, tips, tricks and lifestyle with you. So I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Put on a smile, it's universal language.